Hey guys, it's Spiky McFox again. And sorry about the lighting. I'm trying to like move that reflection, but I can't really. But I did want to get some light back here, obviously. Um, anyways, onto the video. Sorry this is late. Um, we got to Chicago late, so on top of that, I have to edit um, the clips tomorrow to give you guys that Chicago, Spiky going to Chicago video. And it will be short because since we got there late, we didn't get to, we didn't get to record much, especially since it was freezing and my mom didn't really feel like recording. But I did record some stuff. So I will try to get that out to you guys. And in the summer or whenever it's warmer, I'll go out there again and make a better video. Anyways, you guys had asked me some questions earlier today for a Q&A video. So there are not many questions, but I will be answering them. And obviously I'll have more Q&A videos in the future. But let's get started. So the first one comes from Blaze is Secretly Me. And it says, Spiky, have you ever thought of making yourself more than a partial slash half suit? And yes, I have. And I will be. But in the future, because what happened is, um, or what happens is, my dad said, well, you could do that, but it might be a lot of work. And of course it will be, because I have to make a whole, like, um, like a whole body mannequin before I start. So that will be kind of tricky, but I will. Um, I'll make one soon and then get to work on the bodysuit, especially when I have more money and more time on my hands. So yes, I will be doing more. And I, as you guys should know, I'm going to make some feet paws. Actually, um, here, wait one second. So actually these are the feet that they just came in. They're foam, but they're for the feet. I have to work on all of it because obviously it's going to be tricky because they're not quite the same shape as the pad on the bottom where your foot goes. So it's kind of off, but I'm definitely going to figure that out. Anyways, yes, answering your question, I will be making more than a partial suit someday. I promise you guys. I don't know when it'll be, but definitely someday. The next question is from Undertaker 666 Dead. And it is spiky. What got you into the furry fandom? Well, it's actually really interesting. So I was at the Renaissance Fair last year and we go pretty much every year. My dad actually used to work there. Um, but what happened was basically I saw this furry and I'll post a picture right here. So basically, I met this furry. I don't know the name of the furry or whatever, um, but he was really sweet. And I took pictures with him, obviously. And I thought, oh, I love his suit. I would actually want to make my own suit. Now, he actually had a, more of a realistic head and a moving jaw. So it wasn't like a foam head. It, it was, I mean, it could have been a foam head, but usually they're made out of resin the or like even 3D printed. I actually might 3D print another head someday because we just got a 3D printer. Um, but basically, I was like, oh my gosh, that is so cool. So I'm like, oh, I should, I should make one. I should make a fursuit. Um, he had a full suit, but he had like pants too. So it was kind of like, you know, but it was really cool. So that is how I actually got started because I'm like, oh, I want to finally make a suit. But then actually there's a little bit more. So I was thinking about making it, but I'm like, uh, should I or should I not? Just because I thought, oh, it'll take too much work. Now I really don't know what I'm doing. And then my friend, I'm not going to say her real name, Funny Bunny 11110 on Animal Jam, but she's my friend in real life as well. She actually said, she never, sadly, she was never able to actually do it. But she said her friend McKenna was going to make her a fursuit. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, you're making a fursuit? I'm going to make a fursuit. So that's what happened. And then actually years before I had gone to the Ren Fair and I had saw other fursuiters and I had asked them questions on how they made their suits, but I never really got around to it. And I actually was going to make a foxy costume because I was inspired by Rika, but, which is Vix, I can't pronounce her full name. Um, 
but I was inspired, so I was going to make one, but I never got a chance to finish it, so I only have the glove, but that's about it. That's the sad thing, but maybe someday. Anyways, on to the next question, because this video is getting very long. This other question also comes from Undertaker. It's spiky. What is your favorite food? Well, my favorite food as my real self, even though I am spiky, don't get the wrong idea, I still am spiky. But as Maya talking, my favorite food has probably got to be steak. But that's also Spikey's favorite food because me and him, that's kind of what I, I kind of based him off myself. Because usually with fursonas, people usually base it off of their real selves. Or they give themselves the same characteristics, basically. Or even different ones. Which Spikey has a few different ones, but he's definitely a lot like me. So yes, we like steak and pizza. But definitely steak. Medium rare. Oh, yeah. With A1 sauce. Mm-hmm. That's how we like it. And we like root beer, but that's more of a drink. You know, it's good. Also, I don't mind my mom is talking in the background, and it's kind of annoying, but I will. And then again from Undertaker, Spiky McFox. Who is your favorite character from the movie Zootopia? Well, that's got to be Nick Wilde, because I know everyone says, oh, well, I love Nick Wilde. Blah, blah, blah. Um, especially because he's a fox. And I'm a fox, too. So, you know. But I really do. I like his personality, even though it's kind of, like, kind of rude. But it's funny. It's cool. And I don't know. He's just, he's, he's sly. He's, he's pretty rad, you know. And um, I like his son. I, I don't even know his name. But I think he's pretty funny and pretty cute. And I like the looks. I love the looks of foxes. That's another reason why Spikey's a fox. But I don't know. I thought it was pretty neat. I know that probably is a dumb answer. But yeah. But my favorite character has to be Nick Wilde. Pretty much. Yeah. Nick Wilde. Nick Wilde. Okay. And then Happy Jammer had asked, how are you doing? As a question. And I'm doing good. Yeah. Anyways, that'll have to do for the video today. I will be editing my Chicago video and trying to make as much of a video as I can out of that. There are a lot of pictures though, so I might add that to the video as well. Um, <clears throat> and be sure to look out for another Q&A video someday. I will be deleting the other videos and questions and telling you guys about it because that's... I don't really need that because guys already asked the questions even though it's good questions I screenshotted the questions anyways yeah otherwise thank you guys so much for watching and if you're a new viewer on this channel be sure to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications anytime I upload a new video also feel free to comment appropriately obviously because I'm serious please um but I love reading comments and I love liking them and commenting back. I don't know why, it just gives me something to do, even though I have a very full life. <laughs> um, but it gives me something to do. So yeah, anyways, see you guys in the next video. And remember to like the video, please. That would mean so much to me. And thank you for 83 subscribers. And yeah, so see you guys probably tomorrow since I'm going to be recording. Bye-bye. Boop.